Welcome back to Virtualize Everything, or welcome if this is your first time viewing. Today we're going to be looking at how to add some storage to your XCP-NG server using Zen Orchestra. Today we're going to be looking at how to add some more storage using your Zen Orchestra web interface to your XCP-NG server. The process of adding new storage to your XCP-NG server using Zen Orchestra is pretty straightforward. The first thing we're going to do from our initial home screen is come over to where it says new down here. And that's going to present another bar where we'll be able to select storage. Selecting storage is going to bring up this screen and we're going to be asked to fill out some information. The first information is going to be our XCP-NG server and I only have one connected to this instance of Zen Orchestra and I'm only technically even running one here on my network. So we'll select that one. The next thing is going to be the storage name and we'll be able to fill this out as we wish. I'm going to be using this as ISO storage today because Zen Orchestra has a really limited amount of storage unlike Proxmox for ISOs and other things like that. So we're going to be bringing in this storage from an external source. In my case, it's going to be a NAS server with SMB. So we'll give it our name of ISO storage and our description will leave blank. Now we'll select the storage type. And again, I said mine was going to be SMB. So we're selecting SMB. And down here, we're going to give it our IP address, which is going to be 192.168.2. 55 and then mine's going to be ISO storage again. Now that we've filled out the path to our server, let's go ahead and enter our username and password. At this point, we should be able to go ahead and create the map. So let's click create and see what happens. And it is indeed telling us we have to fill out the descriptions. I'm just going to enter ISO because that's what we'll be doing. And let's see what happens now. So now that we press create, we've successfully logged in and been able to access our ISO storage here. Now I do want to note one thing that it took me a few extra attempts off video to be able to actually access this server. Now that was more due to my mistakes here in entering the actual address to my server. But I'm bringing this up and showing it to you so you understand the correct formatting and you don't have to figure that out with the same trial and error that I took to actually solve the problem. So it's slash slash server IP address slash folder or title of the share that we're sharing, and then any subfolders followed by slashes. Pretty similar to any other Linux file path, but that is the correct formatting for this. With that, we're going to conclude this video, and I hope you found it informational and are now able to add your own SMB storages to your XCP-NG server. As always, have a good night, and please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to help virtualize everything continue to grow and receive more great content about virtualization from Virtualize Everything. Have a good night.